views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the transformative show, We Carry the Light, with host Dr. Susan Allison, the show that inspires you to find the light within and shine your light in the world. Who are you right now, and who do you want to be? What is it that makes you happy, helps you feel fulfilled, and living your purpose? Tune in and let Dr. Susan help you discover that you carry the unique light that only you can shine. Now, here is your host, Dr. Susan Allison. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on just where you are in the world. So I'm in Central California. It is morning and I'm so excited as I look out the window because it is cloudy and looks like it's going to rain. We can only pray for rain here in Central California. We're in a terrible drought. So I'm excited about it. Looking out here, I'm seeing all these huge billowy dark clouds and my dog and cat are outside. They're not as thrilled that they're outdoors right now, but I am thrilled that it feels like rain, which we need so much. So thinking about you right now, been thinking about you all morning, just wondering how you are and how your week's going and thinking that maybe we'll check in. Uh, it might be your only time today. I hope not. I hope you're able to stop Take a nice deep breath and check in with yourself uh, several times during the day. But if not, let's do it right now. And if you're somewhere safe, you're not driving, you're not at work where your boss is going to catch you with your eyes closed, go ahead and close your eyes for a moment and just check in, taking a nice breath and letting it out and just seeing what's up. How are you? How is your life going on this Thursday? And so just bringing back whatever you got, whatever message you got about your life, about yourself, about your day, just bring it back. And it's a, it's a check-in. It's a way for you to check in with yourself. And I recommend that we do that, all of us, as many times as we can, during the day, during the week, during the month, during the year, during our life, that we're constantly checking in with our intuition and uh, seeing what's up. So what is up for me, since I always share with you authentically about what is happening in my life, I've been up since about 4 a.m. I was on a radio show in Michigan this morning. I'm going to be on another one at noon in New York. And this is because, and I'd love a drum roll. I don't think we have a drum roll, but da 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 da, -da or some trumpet. I actually do if you oh, like one. Oh, do one. I'm, I got you prepared. Are you set? Yeah. Here we go. You are awesome, Benny. So the drum roll is <laughs> announcing that my fifth book came out this Tuesday with Red Wheel Weiser Hampton Roads, great publisher uh, in San Francisco and on the East Coast. They published in... Sorry, there's I... an entire studio audience. I have to get them back out, so. I'm bowing, I'm bowing here. <laughs> you should. In front of my monitor. Um, there's... Um, Fabulous people they've also published. They've published Eckhart Tolle. They've published The Dalai Lama, uh, Neil Donald Walsh, and conversations, his conversations with God. So I feel so blessed and in such great company with, with those writers uh, to be at Red Wheel Weiser Hampton Roads. So my book came out Tuesday, and the reason that it's my favorite of all five books is that everything, and I mean everything I've ever studied, everything I've ever learned and all of the action I've taken in my life, all of the experiences I've had are in this book. And so it feels like a life legacy for me to publish this. And really, any of you who've been pregnant, and I know, Benny, you have twins, so you kind of were pregnant with your wife probably. Yes. But <laughs> anyone who's been 
pregnant. This is how I have felt, but it wasn't nine months. It was about a year and a half of being pregnant. And it's a long time. And then now it's birthed. And there's some, there's actually a little bit of grief once you let go of your book, you send it to the publisher, it's been, you know, you've been really attached to it. But the real birth came on Tuesday when, when the book is, is launched and it's out there in the world. So I've been very excited. Uh, I was on the Dr. Pat show on Tuesday. I'll be on two shows today. And I have it scheduled book solid next week. So I'm very excited. So wherever you are, uh, you might be uh, hearing me in Michigan or New York or somewhere else. So it's pretty exciting. So today, uh, I am both host and I am the guest. I've only done this once so far this year. And it's it's my privilege to try to do both roles. I really do, you know, I can chew gum and walk at the same time. So I think I'm going to be able to do this. But I was laughing this morning when I was thinking about the show that my, my children, my real blood children, used to crack up at me at Little League games because I'd be eating a hot dog or something and I could not walk up the steps to sit in the bleachers and eat my hot dog at the same time. That's probably a safety feature right there. I mean, that's probably good about you and your body that allows that to happen because, you know, there can be some crazy situations that happens, you know, if you just don't eat it right. You know, you could could have a little choking hazard there. So I think it's a good thing. Thank you, Benny. You're, You're welcome. I feel much better because my, my kids used to just like, <laughs> they would just be like, like bent over laughing because they'd see me stop and they knew that I could not walk walk up the bleacher and eat or or, or you just really drink. enjoyed your hot dog there's no you were yeah. in the present moment with that with that dog of yours you definitely <laughs> want to enjoy that makes it. me feel better like I, i'm not such an idiot there but you I, go but i really you know usually can only do one thing at once yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah so today i'm doing two things and we're, we're hoping it goes well so this new book that i'm talking about is called you don't have to die to go to heaven how to find guidance and healing in the spirit realms. So, uh, boy, it reflects everything that I have learned uh, over the last 22 years being a shamanic practitioner. So I st- give you a little bit of history. I started in 1993 with uh, doing Michael Harner's work, and I, I consider him really the-, the guru, the father of shamanic journey work in the sense that he took it from the indigenous peoples, he he vis, you know he was an anthropologist. He visited all of these various places in the world that still have shamanic practices, and a shaman in their tribe. And then he wrote his book, Way of the Shaman, for the rest of us. And I I freely honor him for taking this practice and bringing it to the lay population, to those you know those of us who are just average humans who can learn how to do shamanic journey work. So that's Michael Harner. And I started with him in 1993. And he taught me how to go into a meditative state and to shamanic journey to other dimensions. These are not worlds in your head. These are real dimensions. They're, they're other dimensions of reality that we go to. And the, it, the shamans call these the spirit realms or the spirit worlds. And there is a lower world, an upper world, and a middle world. And these are the worlds that Michael Harner uh, taught me about. So just going back a little bit to the history of shamanism, it's been practiced, get this, practiced for over 60,000 years. And it predates all major religions. It really, I believe, it is really, in a sense, the first religion. And the shaman was the spiritual leader of the tribe. So he or she would listen to a drum or a rattle and with eyes closed, go into a trance and spirit travel to these realms. He, would, he, he or she would journey to the lower world, the middle world or the upper world. And often it was because someone was ill in the tribe and the shaman would journey to these worlds and get wisdom, advice, guidance of how to heal this person. What was their issue? What problem you know, was causing their illness? And so he would bring, he or she would bring that back and be able to heal this tribal member. Shamans also would journey to find out 
where the game is so that they could hunt and have enough food for the tribe. Or if they were going to move, where, where were they going to go next? Uh, and so on. Or there'd be an issue in the tribe that had to be settled and, and the shaman would journey and find out how to settle it. So I think this is, this is so interesting that now uh, we can do the same kind of work that shamans have been doing for 60,000 years. And I love this. This is, this is ma well, not mainly, but it is really the heart of my book that I teach you how to do shamanic journey work, how to listen to a drummer rattle, how to go into trance, and to spirit travel on your own. You know, in this way, you can have a personal and direct experience of the divine, a direct experience of these other worlds, and bring back the wisdom from all of these guides and teachers and allies and animal helpers that you meet there. And in addition, this is really the huge reason I wrote this book. You can prove to yourself without a doubt that there are worlds that exist such as heaven and you can meet departed loved ones there. That means you no longer fear death because you know that it's life after life that we experience and you know that your loved ones are fine, that they're immortal and so are you. So this is huge for me because as a therapist I see so many people who are afraid of death, who are not living their life fully here because they're afraid of the future. They're afraid of the unknown future that's not even here yet. And part of that fear is the ultimate fear, is the fear of death, that suddenly we're going to die and no longer exist, when our body dissolves into the earth or is burned to ash, that we no longer matter or we don't our essence does not go on and I have found this to be absolutely false I have found this over 22 years that we have an essence we have a spirit we have a part of us that a consciousness that lives on so several people wrote endorsements of my book and I really like uh, very much what Larry Dossey who is a, a Dr. Larry Dossey, MD, and I've had him on my radio, sh radio show a couple of times, but he says, an increasing body of evidence suggests that the survival of consciousness following bodily death is real, and that it's possible to have a preview of what lies ahead. And you don't have to die to go to heaven. Susan Allison shows how. So I love that, that consciousness survives bodily death and there's lots of research that shows that that is true and I have experienced it directly for myself uh, by seeing my loved ones in what I call uh, a level of heaven by now I've probably done thousands of journeys to each of the spirit realms I have met with my parents I've met with my husband and my aunt and several guides and teachers and allies that I may not have known before. So with that little caveat, little teaser about what you can expect uh, in the afterlife, we're going to take a break, but we will be right back and I will tell you more. Preceding audio was via a Skype call. The 24th Annual Women of Wisdom Conference United We Change the World is February 11th through the 15th. Featured guests are Dr. Christine Page on Creative Dragon Energy. Dr. Susan Shumsky will show you how to awaken your third eye and join Mira Kelly for a two-day intensive workshop on Beyond Past Lives. Join WOW for intimate, experiential, life-changing workshops and evening presentations that will inspire you. Early bird weekend passes Friday evening through the Monday banquet are available at a special low price through December 7th. 
Join a supportive community of women on their journey to discover and develop their passions and purpose in life. Women of Wisdom is the place to be this February 11th through the 15th. Go to thewowconference.org. That's the W-O-W conference.org to discover all the diverse offerings WOW has to offer you. See you there. We Carry the Light with host Dr. Susan Allison is the show that inspires you to find the light within and shine your light in the world. You'll hear from guests who model how to be the highest, brightest, most evolved, fulfilled, and conscious humans possible. Tune in each Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com and let Dr. Susan help you discover that you carry the unique light that only you can shine. Living Kabbalah, experience the fruits of the tree of life. In this 10-month Ascension program, Kabbalah unlocks the potential of your own divine nature to know and accomplish your unique purpose in life. Get ready for real and lasting change. Enroll now for this 10-month Ascension program starting January 30th through 31st. Visit 10thhouse.org. That's 10thhouse.org today to learn more. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. Have you ever noticed that this reality doesn't actually work in a way that helps you thrive? I'm thrilled to announce that one of my good friends and colleagues, Dr. Glenna Rice, is bringing the incredible world of Access Consciousness to Seattle this December. You can register and learn more for the course that's coming up on December 4th by visiting Dr. Glenna Events. And when you're there, you're also going to find another event coming up in January that Gary Douglas is doing himself. So register now and wonder no more. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Well, welcome back, everyone, to We Carry the Light. This is Dr. Susan, and if you're just tuning in, I've been talking about my new book, You Don't Have to Die to Go to Heaven. It's available at Barnes & Noble. It's available on Amazon and in local bookstores right now. Just launched on Tuesday, and I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm also hosting and being my own guest today to talk about my book. And this is because I am excited for everyone to read this, I'm excited for everyone to no longer fear death and to know where your loved ones are and that they're absolutely fine. So I want to just give you a little background just because people ask me all the time like what my purpose is in writing this book, which I just shared with you. But on top of that, I really want to teach you how to journey and experience these spirit realms for yourself. And I came up with the title when I was talking to a friend one day, and the book Proof of Heaven had just come out. And as most of you know, if you've read it, uh, it's about someone who has a near-death experience and goes to heaven and comes back and tells us about it. Now, I said to my friend, I, I, I don't want to hear someone else tell me what it's like. I can go for myself. And... Doesn't everyone know that you don't have to die to go to heaven? That you could go right now. And we had this conversation about people kind of wowing us with what they find. When with shamanic journey work, you have a direct experience. You have a personal experience of these realms. And it might not look like the person describes it in some of these books. So it's really, really wonderful that we can have a direct experience by doing the shamanic work ourselves. And doing so, you do prove to yourself that there is no death. There's only life after life. And you can find where your loved ones are. It could bring you so much comfort to know that when you no longer have a body, it is not the end. 
your spirit or your energy, your essence, whatever you want to call that part of you that's you. Uh, Larry Dossie called it consciousness. Who you are lives on. Just as if you've been evolving here, you will continue to evolve there. Uh, knowing that there is no death, knowing your spirit's immortal. You can live here without fear, without fear of death. You can live in the present and really feel joy and great, great freedom and love here on the planet while you're here. So it's interesting that uh, on, a, on an earlier radio show today, I was on a show that airs in Michigan. The host asked me if I have found hell on my journeys. Interesting question, I thought. Uh, and the person was from more of a Christian background, was used to there being heaven and hell and purgatory and that you go to one of those. And I honestly told him that in 22 years, I have never, ever found a hell on my journeys. Never have experienced hell as a place. And there is, in the shamanic uh, realm, there is a middle world that some people compare to purgatory or compare to limbo or a place that's a waiting place for souls. And the middle world is that in a way. Uh, I, when I journeyed the first time to the, my middle world, which means going into trance, closing my eyes, and I listened to a drum take me into this very relaxed meditative state, I journeyed to this beautiful place in nature, which is in the middle world. It's my garden, my personal place of power, and I'm going to take you there in, in a few minutes. But I went there for the first time, and there was this woman sitting on a bench in my garden. And I didn't recognize her from the back. I didn't know who she was. She had long auburn hair. And I went and sat next to her, and she told me she was my father's mother, who had died before I was born, and I'd never met her. Now, she was in my shamanic middle world in this garden place for many years. And she told me that she was one of my spirit allies. She was assigned to me. And I en so enjoyed her company and her teaching of me until one day she was no longer there. I believe that she was ready to move on, that she had ascended and she had taught me everything that I needed. So that's the middle world that might be compared to purgatory, but it's much more benign. It's much lovelier than how purgatory sounds. So I did tell the host this morning that I've never experienced a hell. I do believe that as souls, just from the souls that I've met on my journeys, souls are, are working on themselves there, just as we are working on ourselves here. So that there are people who are having to look at their lives, look at what they've done, and somehow make amends or atone or look at how they can improve or be better people, even in the spirit world. So those of you who were looking forward to peace and no more growth or transformation, you're so tired of it, I'm sorry, but you just keep evolving. And that's what I've found when I've journeyed is you just keep evolving there. So let's talk a little bit more about the middle world, since I mentioned that I was going to lead you in a, in a trance probably after the next break. But this middle world is the subject of my first chapter of my book because it's like a train station or an airport. It's a place where you can journey to and you can journey to the upper world or the lower world from the middle world. The middle world is like a dreamscape. It's like a, it's, it's your personal place of power. It's where you can go for a respite, for renewal. Uh, the Hawaiian shamans teach their people to find this middle world place of personal power early in their lives because it can be a, the place where your soul goes right after death. And then it becomes familiar. You already know where it is. You aren't freaked out when you are no longer embodied and your soul is, is there and needing to go and evolve somewhere. It can go to your middle world, natural world. It's a natural place. It's in nature. It's a garden. 
and it's your personal place of power. And so that's one reason is that you can go to uh, right after death. So it's also, uh, the purpose is also you can just feel good going there. It's like in a meditation where you close your eyes and take a break and renew yourself and come back feeling more refreshed. This is exactly how you feel when you go to your, your middle world, which is, is, your, is only yours. It, it's unlike anybody else's. The other thing that happens in the middle world is you can meet spirit allies there. You can meet guides, you can meet teachers, and you can learn about your life and what you need to do to improve it. So I've met my grandmother, as I said. I've met Jesus there. I've met ancestors. I met Lao Tzu, the Hindu god Rama, departed friends, uh, a winged snake, and other beings. And they all have helped me be a better person and improve my life now. So that's the middle world and just briefly just brief introduction because really I really hope that you'll get my book and it has a much much more detailed explanation of these worlds and then ways to journey there but there's a middle world that I just described and there's also a lower world where you find mostly animals you find animal totems or helpers that help you with your life it's like a raw place in nature it is not hell it is not the, the uh, world of the Greeks, the underworld of the Greeks. It is raw nature. It's pristine. It's gorgeous. It's ancient. That's the lower world where mostly animals will be your helpers. There's the upper world that is more heavenly. It is where you find angels, you find gurus, you find avatars, and your soul family, divine teachers, and so on in what I call a level of heaven. That gives you just a brief, I mean, super brief explanation, explanation of the world. So we're, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, I'm going to lead you in a short shamanic journey to your own middle world. We'll be right back. with you this ain't the honeymoon Passing and pass- the preceding audio was via a skype call put a little Woo-hoo! in your life with keys keys clear protein waters have 22 grams of smile making attitude adjusting protein in every bottle did i mention it's tongue tingling taste Not just another guilty pleasure. With Keys, you'll enjoy every low sugar sip and freedom from gluten, lactose, and GMOs. Who needs the fountain of youth when you can find Keys on Amazon or at Keys, K E E S, please.com? Put a little woohoo in your attitude with Keys Protein Water. A word of caution. If you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Shine on Radio. Find your shine with Kelly is the show that celebrates what makes you, you. Join co-hosts Kelly Wadler and Dr. Pat Basili as they break down how to brilliantly fuel and move your body and love what makes you shine. Kelly is a professional arts and wellness coach dedicated to helping brilliant women find their confidence, energy, self-love, and shine. Tune in to Shine on Radio with Kelly and find your shine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio, and here's my tip of the day. Let's talk about unlimited thinking. Let's talk about limitlessness. What would it look like and feel like? Is it only for special people? What if you aren't living a very abundant, powerful life right now? Is this opportunity closed off to you? Absolutely not. This is your chance without lifting a finger, even telling anyone around you, or leaving the house. 
you can begin to step into all that you are and all that you were meant to be. Pay attention to the arguments that arise as you articulate the limitlessness of your opportunities, your finances, and the loving and supportive friends and family members around you. Draw them in. Let's shift those agreements from the lower level energies to those that allow you to step into all that you are. Visit me at LeslieFontaine.com and listen to Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you ever consumed with the idea that something needs to change? You hear Oprah and other inspiring people talk about living your authentic life, and yet it's much easier said than done. Duda, the kick-ass muse, has crafted a world-renowned coaching platform that will help you get clarity on the issues you face, take bold risks, get back your confidence, and brave your fears. To learn more and work with Duda today, visit kickassmuse.com. Welcome back, everyone, to We Carry the Light. This is Dr. Susan, and if you're just tuning in, I've been talking about my new book that just launched on Tuesday, You Don't Have to Die to Go to Heaven. And we're talking about that. We're talking about the fact that you don't have to die to go to heaven. You can go right now. And not only can you shamanic journey to these worlds and also a level of heaven, but my last chapter talks about bringing heaven home. So you can take all your experiences uh, that you have in the book, all the journeys you take to these spirit worlds, and then the last chapter, you pull it all together to see how you can change your life here. So you bring heaven home. You create heaven on earth for yourself, a heavenly life. And that's what I want for you. So I said before the break that I was going to lead you in a trance, and I'm going to do that. But please, if you're driving, if you're working, it is not a good idea to do it now. And you're very welcome later today to download this show as a podcast and to listen to my voice, if you'd like, leading this journey. And another choice is to go to my website and download free drumming and do this journey to the middle world listening to a drum. You go to drsusanallison.com, drsusanallison, with two L's, dot com. There you can either listen to it there on my website, or you can download it as an MP3. And it's free, and it's really to be used with the book. So I do encourage you to get the book. You can get it on Amazon probably most easily, but I'm sure it's in bookstores, and it's on Barnes & Noble. But for now, I'm going to do a a journey with you using my voice that you can listen to later if you need to. So if you can listen now safely, then here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to be sitting somewhere comfortable. And Betty, you can take part two if you'd like. You can close your eyes and you can take a deep breath from as far down as possible. I always say sort of around your belly button, you take a breath from from pretty far down. Nice deep breath. And then breathe out whatever no longer serves you. Just let everything go except the present moment. Feel yourself relaxing as you take another deep breath and settle in. And just let my voice guide you and help you relax even more. Some of you, and this could be another time, sometimes you can use an eye mask or a scarf, but for now, just closing your eyes will work. But I do recommend covering your eyes the next time you do this because it shuts out the light and it's easier. So feel yourself relaxing and settling in. Let my voice guide you and help you relax even more. Now, in this more peaceful state, I'd like you to imagine yourself on a path. Just let a path appear. Don't think it. Don't stress your brain. 
just at closing your eyes, imagining yourself on a path. Just let the path appear. Using all your senses, your eyes to see where you are, your ears to hear anything there. Your sense of touch, perhaps feeling a breeze or feeling sunshine. Just allowing yourself to use all your senses and to be in your subconscious, not your conscious mind. Letting your heart guide you on a path. Let this path be in a natural setting. It could be a place that you've been. It could be someplace brand new. It doesn't matter. Let it just easily unfold and appear effortlessly in front of you. I want you to take in your surroundings, using your sight to see what's there, your ears to hear what sounds are there, and just feeling the time of day, the season. Let the path keep unfolding effortlessly in front of you as you walk easily along. Stay out of your mind that wants to think it all and just let your subconscious and your heart guide you. I'd like you to set an intention, you can do it silently, the setting an intention that you want to find your own place of personal power in the shamanic middle world, which is usually a natural setting or a garden. So as you walk on your path, I'd like you to begin to see a place coming into view And just let it appear, let it come naturally and organically, effortlessly. You don't have to think it, it just appears in front of you. And let yourself arrive in this sacred place. And again, using all your senses, I'd like you to explore this world that is only yours. It's your haven, your refuge, your place to renew and replenish your energy. Notice everything around you. Nothing is unimportant. Also, your magic in this state that you're in, and you can create whatever you want. If you want more light, you just intend it, and more light will come. If you want water, or a great tree, flowers, grass, a path, anything, it will come. So as you intend it, allow yourself to explore. as you explore, I'd like you to look for a place to sit down. It's a place that invites sitting, invites relaxation, and you can even create something. You can create a bench. You can create a lounge chair. You can create a beautiful, soft, mossy place by a tree. Whatever you want, whatever it is, you can intend it, and it will appear now. So let yourself settle in. You're sitting in your natural world and looking around and I want you to just notice and realize that everything here has a spirit and can speak to you. You'll hear messages that will come in your mind. So a tree can talk to you, water can talk to you, a bird can speak to you. You can ask if any of them have messages for you and can offer you wisdom, and it will come. Now 
There also will be beings that love you that appear in this place. We don't have time for that now, but the next journey you do to this place of power, you can invite in beings that love you. And that's what you say. I invite in beings that love me. But now it is time for us to come back. I know it was short, but you can go back to this world anytime you wish using my voice on the archive show if you need to, or going to my website and listening to drumming. For now, though, you need to say goodbye to your place. And many times we just want to stay there. It's so lovely. It's so supportive and so nurturing. But for now, because of the length of the show, we have to come back. But you might say thank you to all of this world that is yours. Say thank you for being here for me. And I will be back. Receiving audio was via a Skype call. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. Awaken to your radiant, authentic self. For over 15 years, Soul Purpose Advocate Nancy Monson has been focused on leading change in the lives of those looking to live their true purpose. She is devoted to supporting people and living a soul-directed life every day. Let Nancy help you overcome fear, worry, and doubt. Visit EverydaySpirituality.com to learn how Nancy can be your Soul Purpose Advocate. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. This ain't love, it's good to see The darling stay with me Mm, What a heavenly voice, wow 
Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back from your journey. And as you do this journey work more and more, just remember to come back, take some deep breaths, stretch, move your arms, take a deep breath again, exhale, bring yourself all the way back to the present and feel your feet on the floor, feel grounded. And uh, then you open your eyes. So welcome, welcome, welcome back. And you can do this later if you were unable to do it with me now. And as I mentioned, you can go to the archive show at transformationtalkradio.com and go to my host page and click the show. You also could go to my website and download the drumming. It's free, drsusanallison.com. And I do suggest you first buy my book at Amazon or local bookstores or Barnes & Noble in order to read the instructions for the journey to each world and then download the drumming and use the drumming to do your journey work. So if you do journey again to your middle world, which I hope you do, know that there are incredible beings that love you, who have guidance and healing for you. And there's a great discussion of this in my first chapter of the book. So every chapter of you don't have to die to go to heaven gives you a description of one of the spirit realms and then has you journey there and by the time you finish the book you will have traveled to the lower world and have animal helpers you'll travel to the world of stars moon and sun and to the upper worlds in addition to the middle world that we just discussed so eventually you will travel last to what I call a level of heaven now, I use this term because on more than one journey, I have seen higher realms in heaven above where I can go because I'm still embodied. I have seen souls there. Uh, there's one place uh, that I call the Crystal City that's this blue Crystal City. There's this amazing golden Crystal City above me when I look up, and I can't go there. I, I still have a body. And so that's why I call where we can go, I call it a level of heaven. And it is there that I meet with my family uh, and with my husband who passed away, transitioned in 2013. And it's an amazing time that I visit him there. I see him on a beautiful beach and we walk together. We swim like dolphins in the sea and we can rise up and travel and look at some of these other realms. So you can meet your family there. You can go and you can ask that you'd like to have someone appear. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, because they have work to do there that they're doing. But I have met with my parents, my husband, my dog Rusty, this great Irish setter I had as a child, and my soul family. Socrates is in my soul family, which is pretty cool. And this is the family that's been with you through all your incarnations. And Socrates happens to be in my soul family and has been a great teacher for me as well. I've also met other divine teachers there and ancestors. So that is the upper world that you get to eventually after you have done the work in the other chapters that are in the lower worlds. I start you there so you build on your success you're able to journey to the middle world first, then the lower world. Then I also have a, a chapter that helps you that's called, uh, I believe it's called Travel to the Upward Upper Worlds. And it has a how you create a mystical ladder that you can climb, how you create a great tree. And by create, I mean you just intend the great tree to be in your middle world. You, you intend that a mystical ladder drops, kind of like Jacob's ladder in the, in the Bible. And these are ways to access the upper world. There are also birds and animal helpers that can come and carry you. So you do the work in the lower world and the middle world first, and they provide tools for you to be able to travel to the upper worlds. And there's more than one upper world, but there's no time to talk about it on today's show. But there is a heaven, there's a level of heaven, and it's waiting for us, not just when we die, not just when we have a near-death experience, but right now, which is why I wrote the book, so that you can go there today if you wish. 
So I did mention earlier that I have a last chapter called Bringing Heaven Home, and I'm just reminding you that you can create heaven on earth right here. It does help to get the wisdom from all of these helpers in these spirit worlds and to help you know that you are not alone. That is a total myth that we're alone. We have so many beings who love us, who actually have been assigned to us in the spirit realm, that it's mind-boggling. I recently went on a journey and just looked up at a mountain and walked up, and it was Gandhi. Gandhi was on this mountain. Gandhi had a message for me, and behind him were all these beings of light. As far as I could see, all these angels, these, these beautiful beings of light, for, I mean, they just went forever behind him. And he was telling me that I really needed to do my work here. I have a purpose, and I need to, to really take action and do it. It was an amazing journey, but I'm telling you that you also have these beings. It's not just me. You also have all of these, these incredible allies, guides, teachers, to assist you and know that you're not alone, that you uh, have this incredible life you can create here, and you'll get the guidance to create the most heavenly life possible. So actually, this is my goal in writing this book, which is to help you create an awesome life. And you can do it through receiving guidance from all of these spirit beings that love you. And we've talked about them, that some of them are allies, some of them are animals, some of them are teachers, ancestors, family members, and you'll meet avatars as I've met Jesus and Lao Tzu. And there are others just waiting to be of service to you also. You are not alone, and you are never alone. And once you connect with your supporters, you'll know without a doubt that you are loved beyond measure, that there's only life after life, and you are more than your body. You're immortal. You're an immortal soul. And the essence of who you are never dies. I want to just read one more endorsement, which is from Alberto Valoldo, uh, who's the author of Shaman Healer Sage, One Spirit Medicine, and a Shaman's Miraculous Tools for Healing. He says, Susan Allison presents an ancient roadmap to the heavens in a way that we all can employ to visit the realms beyond death. In this journey, we discover that there is only life after life and that we can map our destiny consciously in this lifetime and the next. So, beautiful endorsement. Love Alberto Valoldo and I'm so appreciative uh, that he wrote that uh, in my book. It has been an honor uh, to write You Don't Have to Die to Go to Heaven and to be your host and your guest today on We Carry the Light. I encourage you to read the book and to find out through direct experience that spirit worlds exist, that you can go there anytime for renewal and support, and you can begin today to live your life fully here, knowing that immortality is a given, and all of us are going to heaven. Next week, Please join me in welcoming Tom Bird, who will share his book, Right from God. That's W-R-I-T-E, Right from God, how our words and writing reflect our divine purpose. Until then, remember that you carry the light now and forevermore. You've been listening to The Transformative Show, We Carry the Light, with host Dr. Susan Allison the show that inspires you to find the light within and shine your light in the world. Who are you right now and who do you want to be? What is it that makes you happy, helps you feel fulfilled and living your purpose? Tune in every Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, and let Dr. Susan help you discover that you carry the unique light that only you can shine.